Hey guys, Keaton Reiser here. Welcome back to another diecast review. Today I got this truck from the mail. It's the brand new diecast promotion Kenworth K100 cab over truck with the triaxle NNZL group trailer. And today this is a vehicle we're gonna take a look at. Truck is out of the package. Now let's take a look at it. So this one's very different from the other trucks that I showed you before because this is a cab over a Yas flat nose truck. So it doesn't have a nose and it also have a very special features that we'll show you later on but now let's start with the front of the truck obviously very different like I showed you before you got your hair horns the lights on top of the cab and this one features a sleeper which is pretty cool you got your big Kenworth emblem on the front with a big chrome grill installed in the front of the truck you also have some details with some little grab bar maybe to be easier to tilt the cab you also have, have inserts headlights dual on each side and a nice chrome bumper with this one being the unit 2022 20, you also have your inserts for the turn signals and of course the big chrome rear view mirrors with the loops on the top on the uh, driver side at least on the side here much to say you have the better view on the hair horns you got your big exhaust stacks some grab bars you got your NZL group tampos with green stripes on the side some nice chrome rims with of course steerable axles not because that cab over it doesn't have this feature you have your steps here get into the cab some train uh, some hair tankers I believe here underneath of course the nice fuel tanks with the red accents some different rims on the back of course they are dually just like a real semi truck and that's pretty much it for the sides now let's take a look at the back now you got your mud flaps very nice I love the details for the tail lights and their rear lights in white NZL group right on the um, back of the uh, mud flaps here you got your fifth wheel it's of course movable so when you attach your trailer it is realistically movable on the back here of course better view on the exhaust stacks gets more here some grab bars here you have your um, your tool here for your brakes and hose line also have some curled deck in the back here if you want to step for the driver at least and the work in the back of the truck it's on the side here is pretty much the same as the other side uh, you have a little Kenworth emblem here I don't think it was on the other side oh yes we're here I just didn't notice but uh, it's there too on the side, um, excuse me, on um, under the truck, against the transmission line, better view on the uh, exhaust and fuel tanker. So I have a nice view for the rims and tire. And of course here, if you wonder what's this beige thing, is the engine bay, which was about to show you. Here we go. This thing is pretty snap on. Oh, you have to be careful when you open it up but once you open it up you can see a beautiful caterpillar engine underneath after I try to put some lights here and you can see all nicely detailed this thing here and just looks absolutely beautiful there we go on the side you also have some nice details for the exhaust tax and transmission line here and if you want to put it back together you have to snap it here we go and there he's ready to go and rock and roll now let's take a look at the dry box trailer this one's a trial axle which is pretty cool this type of trailer is very common here in Quebec City Canada and also I think it's really a uh, common also in Australia to find the triaxle trailer. This might be a little bit rarer to find in the US. 
So underneath, you have a spare tire, which is pretty cool. You got your legs, and you got your axle and transmission line here. On the front of the trailer, we got NZL Group Tempo. Get your lights on top of each part of the trailer. Get your nice striping in green all over to the back. And by the way, this thing is pretty heavy. It's all metal. It's not cheap plastic that you use to be with other diecast brand. And now for here, let's see if my camera can zoom in. There we go. Line hole, container transport, storage and distribution. Container park, Steve Doring, and crane and construction. That's pretty much tell you what the company is able to do and all the service she offer. Now for the back, not much to say. It's pretty much the same as the other trailer that DCP does. Got your nice opening doors, which I'm about to do. Interior wise, it's brown. I don't see any tempo. Or, yeah, it does have a little bit of tempo here. On the side, it's chrome. Nice painting for the uh, tail lights and a nice bumper, of course. If, uh, of course, was it? It's just trapping in the rear view in the back. This will protect the axle of the trailer. And of course, the driver not to be killed by eating this massive trailer. On the other side, it's pretty much the same. Let's see if we have something in the front. Nothing except a little square here to. Uh, Simulate the area you will plug your line for the brakes and for the lights. Now let's attach this thing together. Let's see how well it roll. And by the way, <laughs> it's the first time, but the trailer is actually heavier than this cab here. This thing's pretty light, but considering the quality, I will have no complaint about this. And this truck roll really really smoothly almost better than your hot wheel cars for a big truck it's pretty impressive so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe if you didn't do so before and i will see you in another stop motion video or another diecast review stop motion uh, another diecast review excuse me see you later